towards this A site and have guessed incorrectly. It's all on Tammy right now to try and hold up this B site and as he taps away, he just can't connect for anything. I like the discipline on this. Falling back, say, we'll play for the retake. I don't need to overcommit here and try and find an early kill. I'm just going to stay alive. That means that we've got a pincer coming in from short. My teammates will quite quickly be coming in from market. And there's a chance here with this retake, especially keeping that kit floating. It's only if the Glocks don't tear them away that they won't have a chance here. And Torzi will double him down for two. JDC, Torzi with another. This guy's so crisp. Often you find that the AWPer is just really, really good at pistol rounds. I think it's that pinpoint action with that SMG. Make some big cash, 600 kill reward on it. Can really start to bolster that economy a little bit further. And once again, it's the B site. They've realized that they can just use and abuse this surgeon. Doubling down, he's already paid off the MAC-10 investment. JDC with the third, and once again, it's an absolute snowball. There's nothing the D13 can do here to defend. Hardly any damage even dealt, let alone any kills found. Shinobi. Ooh. Gets the tag with the scout. Looks to take a high on her angle. And, ooh, and like 10, it's so messy. How is Shinobi still alive here? Maybe a chance. Nope, nothing for him. Stickers. Up in Palace. Can't quite hit the shot. Instead, it's Yami in response. But it's still the man advantage here for Mao's NXT. And as they get onto this B-bomb site, the C4... Yeah, I mean, it's not going to go down just yet. It's trailing a little bit behind in apps, and that might cost them. Zerjan trying to press forward, take some more site control before that C4 coming in. And it costs him his life. Yami strips him of his head. Now the two on two. Smoke goes down. That limits his options of an exit out of market here. And with Annihilation being anticipated on short, takes a lot of damage. I think they've got this one in the bag. JDC finishing off the job there onto the short man. Yami, all attention now diverted onto him. And on the other side of things, D13 opting for the double up setup. Something that we haven't seen just yet. And I'll tell you what else we haven't seen. This kind of aggression from anybody, let alone an AWP or Annihilation. It was a key shot to hit. And, well, he can't quite do so. He's got support from Yami, so the one-for-one one comes in, and he misses the close-up, too. You can't be getting close. You can't be getting aggressive with an AWP if you're not going to hit your shots. Zerolti does manage to catch one on the cross, but we're trading evenly right now. Three for three. Make it a three on two as Shui strips the head of Shinobi. And once again, they're in control. Ooh, that's messy. Torzi. Not sure how he hasn't fired off the shot into CT there before his teammates fall him. But a beautiful flash from him allows Shui to swing connector. And he finishes a 5v2, not one that you often win. Not in these situations. Shui with the C4 on his back, though. And if he creeps out wide, he will actually spot Shinobi, I think. No, Shinobi's just up behind the wall. Alrighty. The jump spots in CT. He spots the head. That's so quick from Shui. Needs to be aware that there's one to his close left. It doesn't look like Torzi's been spotted, but this is going to be a very difficult duel. And he peeks just before the smoke blooms. Shui with a quick switch. Oh my goodness, Shui might be able to get this done. He's low on health. The molly does make things complicated. And whilst he does a lot of damage onto Tamir, it's not going to be the kill. An incredible attempt from Shui to no man's land. Where do you go from there? Try and peek through connector, perhaps. Torzi he has taken a tick of damage through that molly, but Tamir didn't seem to hear it. Zorote not ready for that one at all. The molly not quite deep enough into the corner, but Shui too quick to the trigger regardless. Annihilation. The aforementioned door room window now left. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Takes the hit through the door frame. And JDC finishes him off. It's not even a door frame. It's a window frame. But, you know, same thing. And Yami. All on his lonesome in CT. Does take the head of Torzi. He's not going to be expecting Shane to his right, though. So he needs to do double the work here. Grenade coming in. Yami trying to get aggressive. Doesn't work out at all for him. Shinobi. He's had the most success here for D13. And oh my goodness, they've walked straight past each other in the smoke. That's so awkward. Shui realizes. Pops the head. He even finds Tamir to Zerolte on the fast rotation. In fact, I say fast. It's not a fast rotation. There's nothing fast about it. If it wasn't the last round of the half, I think he'd be saving. And to be honest, he kind of is. Come on. Go take some fights. It's around 15. You're 13-1 down. It's about to be 14. And you're going to be spammed through this smoke if you're not careful. Surgeon knows he's there. He's super confident. 
No, nope, now he's got his back to him. Okay, maybe he doesn't know he's there. There you go. Free kill for Zorolte. His patience has paid off. Maybe a second. Chewie can feed it to him. Nope. Chewie swings wide. Beautiful headshot. And lost the bomb site. The C4 will go down. And a kit on Shui for the retake. They're ready for this. There's no utility for D13 to try and hold on to this site any longer. They have to take the jewels with the Glocks. Luckily for them, those Glocks have that close range spam potential. They do have a bit of an advantage in these situations, but not when they're being picked off from afar. Shane, brilliant headshot. The double swing from Shorts, annihilated by Yami. Back into the three on three. But Shane continues to swing the numbers in his team's favor. The kit now been dropped. They need to retrieve it. It's JDC to do so. But Shinobi joins the party, helps his teammate, and puts a second on the board for D13. Some contingencies with traveling halfway across the world for a boot camp. The first few days will definitely uh, be quite straining. Take their toll. Nice one for one trade early. JDC spamming away with the Deagle. And oh my goodness, it looks like they might actually be able to get this force by done. Annihilation, big headshot with the Galil, but an instant trade from JDC who's found himself an AK. And Tamir left in the one on three, picked out of the air by Zersion. And it's 15 to unbelievable in the restaurant. It was not my proudest moment. So these guys have got to be tired without traveling. They're coming in. A lot of damage onto Tamir there. And I think this will probably be the end. I think, I think this is... Almost certainly the last round here with only these deagles. They've taken a lot of early damage. Torzy with a headshot through the smoke as well. Another onto Tamir trying to swing and trade him. Mazersion spotted. The spray away goes through. And it's a very, very clean sweep. 16 to 2. An unbelievable.